Hello, this is Paul Gabry with another Ask ZBrush episode. Okay, so our question for this episode is, can you measure the thickness of an element in ZBrush? The answer, of course, is yes, there is a way to do this. So we've got this tie fighter that I made in ZBrush. And what I want to do is measure the thickness of the cockpit section of this in here. So I'm going to turn off the one wing and you can see that I've hollowed out this model. But now I want to know what is the measurement of that model, okay? So what we're going to do is first establish the world coordinates or world measurement that you want in here. So I'm going to go into my Z plugin and I'm going to open up Scale Master. And in here, I'm going to set the scene scale. So I'm going to tell ZBrush what metric unit do I want to use for measurements. So I'm going to click on this button. It's seeing the subtool that I have selected, which in this case is the TIE Fighter's body. And now it's saying, well, what do you want this measurements to be in? Millimeters, inches, centimeters, feet. Now ZBrush's default is millimeters. That's why there's only one number here. However, this file has a measurement of 75.02 by 29.89 by 32.79. So most files do not have the metric, what it is, if it's inches, centimeters, feet, embedded into the file. So that's why you'll see this number in four locations. You'll see it in millimeters, centimeters, feet, and inches. And then the other numbers, or the equation is, well, if this was actually in millimeters, this is what the size would be inches. If this was in millimeters, this is what it would be in feet. And of course, this is what it would be in centimeters if we did the math. So I'm going to stick with millimeters because that's what I want to use. So I'm going to click on that. And now what I've done is I've set this world into the millimeter world for the measurements. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on this cube I have here. And this is not something you have to do. I just want to show this is a great way to do some thickness measurement with inside a ZBrush. So I'm going to select the cube now. I'm going to turn on Live Boolean. And then over here, I'm going to select, I'm going to turn on my magnifier here. I'm going to select this second icon, which that second icon means subtractive. So you're going to see the cube disappears. It's still there, but it's being now used as a subtractive piece. So now what I'm going to do is just start moving this cube in space. And you'll notice you can start seeing the thickness that I have established here for this TIE fighter. And now to do this measurement of how I want to know how thick it is through these multiple areas here is quite simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my gizmo back on. We'll select the TIE fighter this time because I want to me do the measurements of the TIE fighter. And up here, I'm going to turn this icon off. This is the icon that tells ZBrush to give the gizmo 3D. So you can see the shortcut is Y for that as well. So the letter Y will turn it on and off. I'm also going to turn perspective off so that way I can just look at only right down the model right now just for visual sakes to make it easier for us. And what we have here now is the transpose line, okay? And you'll see that every hash mark here is a certain measurement through this. And in fact, every gap between this is one millimeter, right? So because we use Scale Master, we've now set this as like a digital caliper. So now all I got to do is if I want to know what the thickness is, say, from this point here, to the next point there, this is all I have to do. So here I'm gonna turn off the other wing. So we're just looking slow, solely at the body and I'm gonna zoom in here. So I'm just gonna click here and then just start moving and you'll see what's happening here is the transpose line is actually snapping to the model. So this first click is snapping. So if I wanna know the distance from there to say this corner, I'm now snapped to that corner and up here in the upper left corner, 
it's telling me that this is 3.7639 millimeters. So I can continue this process, and this is kind of why I like to use a cube to go through this, right? So that way I can go to a different area. Maybe I want to go here now, right? And then now I want to do the measurements of this. So I'm going to switch back to the TIE fighter, and then we're going to, again, switch to the transpose line, and then I can just measure from there to there. And you see that's now 2.3327. And I can go to any area here now and click. And you can see the transpose line is going to snap. Now what you can also do is hold the shift key and that will also limit the transpose line. And that way I can know directly straight across from here. And if we zoom in here to there, we know that this is 2.8022 millimeters. All right, so just remember the first step you're going to need to do is use the scale master to make it simple for you to set your world scale. And then from there, the transpose line will automatically be adjusted to that world. And there you have it. This is how you can measure thickness of an element with inside a ZBrush. Please continue to send your questions in to us through Twitter with the hashtag AskZBrush. Again, any question that you might have send it to us on Twitter with the hashtag AskZBrush. Thank you again for watching this video and happy ZBrushing.